Is there a difference with the Filipino women, empowered Filipino women, and the westernized uh, feminist movement? Um, first of all, I want to say that there are many waves to the feminist uh, movement, uh, specifically talking about the one in the West. Um, we appreciate the pioneers because women are like third, you know, class citizens before um, the first doctor. We're not able to women doctors. We're not able to be in the same classroom as men. We could not vote uh, before, and it's because of uh, the pioneer. Um, movements, many movements, but specifically the feminist movement. I am sharing the difference because there is a difference. And um, I also noticed that there are uh, women from the West, from our own culture, who might be, you know, sharing their input, but the input is coming from um, a, a Western perspective. Nothing wrong with the Westernized perspective. The reason why I'm sharing, as you know, if you've been following me, is really to expand our curiosity. Uh, I too am always a student and uh, share your thoughts below because we're always learning. Whatever you think, ditto. I agree. Um, I am truly just being um, the fullest expression of myself and allowing you to have different perspectives. Uh, many uh, Filipinos, Filipinos love to use Facebook, social media, and there is where the hub and where you mainly might consume very westernized ideas. And again, uh, it's not that. There are many uh, great inventions from the Western civilization, um, but there is a difference. And um, first of all, I want to say that there's a, even when I was new in America, there was this uh, surge of feminist movement that I totally embrace. I, I understand. I, uh, I, I appreciate the feminist movement, as I mentioned. And then I realized that the westernized, um, the women in the West, Western Europe, Canada, Americas, have a very different history compared to the women in the Philippines. And it, it seems to me there's a lot, quite a bit of oppression. I mean, you could re read about the witch craze they call. So um, thousands have died, uh, women, mostly women. There are actually some historical evidence that there were also men. And this is the craze where uh, women were seen as uh, witches and they would burn them at stake. So there are actually historical evidence around that. Um, so not only that, but there are many uh, oppression um, and it continues. And and so the fight of uh, women to have uh, e equity, right, in their rights is, um, is, is there's a place for that. And then the history of the Filipino women Filipino women, even in our uh, priestess, you know, the women are seen differently. And not to say that there is no oppression or double standard in the Philippines. Uh, there are double standards, you know. We have in our a nuance in our culture is when uh, a wife, you know, the husband will have extramarital affairs and she would say, oh, okay lang basta sa akin umuwi. It's okay as long as he comes home to me. And and the 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 feminists in the West might would say that that is a gender inequality. I think that comes more from our religious and uh, Christian backing of you know the role of uh, uh, women. If if there's something that um, we always can improve, uh, we have agency that uh, you know it does happen we have domestic violence and that's across culture so what i'm talking about and offering here is is just the mainstream okay uh there's always going to be a division in any culture so here's a few things that um may be different okay from the empowered remember i'm talking about the empowered filipina uh, woman and and some women across culture might need uh, improvement in their ability to assert themselves, to find their own agency, their own voice. This is across culture. 
but uh, the Filipino women might be seen as uh, not as empowered from the eyes, the lens of the westernized um, women and, you know, the way they have been uh, oriented. And here's one difference. First, for the empowered, I highlight that uh, Filipina woman, service does not equal subordination. And, and I know that is uh, maybe a, a challenge to, to grasp. But the story of oppression is not a narrative that in the Philippines circulates in that way compared to how they circulate in the West. So if you're listening, I, I live in both places and, and I know the, the stark difference. And uh, we don't have that oppression narrative. Although now I notice because it's been coming up in the media, I noticed that Filipino women in the Philippines are also starting to absorb that. So I just want you to know um, that there's a very different context. Uh, secondly, um, women, not, not, not all women would want to be mothers. So please, when you're watching this, um, I honor your, your choice to be a mother or not. In fact, I feel that all women are already mothers when they are given birth to, because we all already have our, our eggs, you know. So whether you give birth to a child or not, there's a life force in every woman. So, but talking about motherhood, motherhood is seen as ministry uh, for the empowered Filipina woman. That can also go to the extreme, the shadow side of that. And this is from also religion, is the woman might can be self-sacrificial. And, and we must learn to balance that. And we could I'll create another video on that at a later time. But service does not equal subordination. Um, have you hang out with Filipino women and actually in the Philippines, you would know, you would know this that their service does not equal their subordination. Secondly, motherhood is a ministry. Um, and um, another one, they understand that voice um, is amplified, that they don't have to speak loud, but it's amplified. Um, there's a teaching in which if you already know, you don't have to um, keep saying it. But in the West, you know, there is a the squeaky um, wheel, squeaky wheel right, is the one that gets the attention. So there's an opposite cultural um, messaging. And um, and also, I think it's across cultures, not to say the American uh, women uh, or the Americanized, um, Westernized women do not embrace their femininity. Uh, but the Filipina, a power Filipino woman, truly embraces hers. She might use it actually to charm people. I, I, I know this is a, a challenge to explain because um, it, it might feel like there's an underpinning of in, inequality, but she she's not so focused on that, but she understands. It's like a cuchara or tinidor, right? Spoon and fork. I mean, if you use the tinidor to scoop out uh, soup, it is really like you could try it, see what happens. And at the same time, it's really hard to eat steak with a spoon, you know, to fork the, to spoon the, the steak. And so it's not a contest of whether who's doing better, but it's, or who's best, but a particular time who is more effective is more the orientation of the empowered Filipino woman. Um, I just want to share that. I also want to share that there's lots to improve in our, our, our culture. Any uh, beautiful trait of the Filipino, which there's so many, when when done in the extreme, could also be a shadow side. I hope this has been helpful. Share with me some of your thoughts. And, and again, whatever you think, ditto. This is from Andy Gia Samuels. Ingat po, come visit calamansijuice.com and read some of my, my articles. Ingat po lagi. Bye now.